For the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Cancer, for your oracle advice, we have honor. And on the flip side of honor, it reads so... I'm sorry, it reads care for your soul, honor the divinity within you by practicing self-care. And honor is paired with true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So it's basically saying that it might be important for you to um, practice self-care. When you take care of your soul and you take care of yourself. Make sure you're feeding your your um, mind, body, and soul in a healthy way. Uh, that even that even means eating right. Exercise is very cleansing and nourishing for the soul. So practicing self care. Um, that's what honor is about, and you'll experience you'll experience some true healing. True healing will occur when you feel with whatever's triggering you. So it's just basically saying to stay in touch with yourself. You know, if you're feeling a certain way, and certain triggers, certain things are triggering you, and um, you might want to uh, work on that because um, that's really the only way you can heal. Sometimes people try to bury what's triggering them in a negative way. So you might want to just deal with it as soon as it comes up so that um, your healing will probably uh, occur much faster. So we have true healing and then honor. And that, that was your oracle advice. Uh, nothing too difficult. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at the recent past. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Now this Knight of Pentacles, it's about messages. It could be regards to money, finance. You might finally receive some type of news that you've been waiting on. And it's going to be good news. Well, it would have been since we're talking about the recent past. The Knight, it's, it tells you to pay attention to simple things. Mundane, boring, normal parts of your life. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of little things, big things will fall into place. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. So that would have been important for you to do in the recent past. And when it talks about love and relationships, it's about the responsibility and duty that's a part of any love relationship. We all know love is not always wine and roses. True love is a willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship. So you probably asked yourself, or you should have in the recent past, asked yourself how well were you meeting your responsibilities. And if you were single in the recent past cancer, and you get this Knight of Pentacles, it's, it's a clear signal that you probably needed to switch up your routine and try new things if you wanted to meet someone. Because this Knight of Pentacles is showing that your usual search, your usual hunt, it probably probably left very little to be desired. Now, this Knight of Pentacles is paired with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is considered a card of reunions, but it could also mean a reunion in its broadest sense, maybe running back into someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. It's a very happy reunion, upbeat. It can also mean celebration, yours, or someone you care about, such as a celebration around a new baby, wedding, or happy occasion. When this Three of Cups talks about love and relationships, um, it could mean a return of a long lost love. Someone from the past could be returning. Um, if you're single and you get this Three of Cups, the most likely interpretation is that you'll meet a likely love soon. Someone who really fits the bill. Love the person that you've been looking for. 
and um, this person will probably be a new love if you're single. So basically for your recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. It's basically saying that there was some type of good news message that came in or uh, maybe someone was interested in you and made you an offer. Uh, something that you wanted to hear. Someone was probably coming in with an offer to take you out or an offer to get to know you. But it was good news. It was from someone that you probably liked and um, and you wanted the, the attention from that person. And there was some type of celebration. Some type of really happy rejoice. And I'm picking up it was probably a past person. Someone from the past wanted to come in and sweep you off your feet. And it was very, very, it was a very great reunion. It felt like a friendship, a celebration, and a circle of support. So that's very nice for your recent past, Cancer. Let's see what's going on in the present. And so the present, we have the Emperor and the Empress. Now the Emperor, the, the Empress, which is the lady, okay, she's at the top where it says present. Uh, she doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own ideal of what is right, what is wrong, in any and all endeavors. This does not mean that she'll always get her way, though. The Empress, it reminds us not to ignore our creative and intuitive side. Um, the Empress is about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that's always financially. Because there are many types of wealth and riches. And money is only one of them. But the Empress, um, you'll be able to encompass any or all of them at this time. It's about coming in abundance. So in a lot of ways. When this Empress talks about love and relationships, it's a very potent time for love. You could find men and women alike. They're suddenly finding you far more attractive, both for friendship and romance. And you might have to be careful with this, though. Don't, under, don't underestimate its potency. If you're single and you're looking for a relationship or love, then this is the time when true love, that is, could very well come your way at this time. In fact, as the Empress, if you are single and not looking, then true love could seek you out anyway as the Empress. Very powerful time for you. The Empress's abundance in big, many ways. If you're committed, the relationship usually becomes sweeter, deeper, um, much truer, much more, more true under the influence of the emperor, of the empress. Okay. Now, this empress, which is the female, she's paired with the emperor. Now the emperor, it's about domination over the mind, over the heart. And it's sometimes necessary, even though it's not always wanted. In fact, you should welcome this, and that's probably what you must think about at this time when our choices when our choices must be made it's important for you to maintain your concentration and focus the emperor signals that now is a time that you'll find it easier to make hard choices so go ahead and enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that the self-control focus is going to bring you Forge ahead and do what you know is best. And if you master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life could throw at you at this time. Now that explains the Empress and the Emperor for your present time. So this is, seems like it's turning out to be a love reading. It's not, it wasn't intended to be, it's a general reading. But when you get the Emperor and the Empress, it's about a true pair. Very rarely do you get those two together. So, that's very interesting. With the Empress, there's a, 
a deep, deep love. Someone has a deep love for you, Cancer. Is it this past person that you reunited with? Maybe they're coming up. Maybe they're they're on their way, but they have a deep love for you, or someone does. And being that the, the emperor is there, uh, you might have a difficult time with this person because the emperor tends to use his head and not his heart. So you might have a hard time getting this person to be vulnerable. They might come across as arrogant, a leader type, a boss. Um, so you could have a lot of love for them or are they for you? But I'm picking up they have a lot of love for you because you're the empress. And it's about coming abundance. So this emperor, emperor the man... He could be coming towards you, or he's someone that you are already connected with. There's a lot of deep love there, but a very with a ch with a very challenging person as the emperor. So that's the present time for you, Cancer. Let's move on to the challenge. We have the Hermit, and it's paired with the Two of Cups. This is turning out to be a love reading. So the Hermit card. It could be a spiritual card, and it could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Just like the strength card, you could be in the frame of mind that you want some time, of, time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying to do the right thing. So just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what is right for you personally and just and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So the Hermit card is paired with Two of Cups. This is about romantic partnerships. Um, but that's not his only connotation. It's about harmony, union, communication, romantic love, uh, proposals, marriage. There's a balance there. Friendship. There's a lot of joy sharing. This card says that things are likely to be going really well and you'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So for your challenge, the Hermit and Two of Cups, like I said, there's a lot of love in this reading. The Two of Cups is huge. A lot of love there. True love. Very romantic. It's a union. But we got this hermit card. Um, in this connection, someone um, may need to, to um, may feel like they want to withdraw. And they probably feel like um, they just want some time alone to clear their mind, get rid of some baggage, or help them clear up some situations or problems in this connection. So someone um, may take some time apart. Someone may... Uh, feel like they got ghosted or um, someone just left this connection but uh, it's only temporary it's not a permanent go away someone just needs some space for some reason why I don't know but uh, I'm saying I don't know because there's a lot of love there could have something to do with this emperor. Like I said, they could be very challenging to deal with. So let's take a look at the outcome. 
Now we have the hmm, Devil card and Justice. Okay, so Devil card. Well, let's say with this card, the fir first thing first, don't let people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, make sure you come to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feelings now, you may be feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of no action, of inaction. So it's important to remember to take action. Take whatever steps you can to give yourself a feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small steps are important. Now this devil card is paired with justice. Now justice is about uh, karma and law of cause and effect. Uh, you have to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you could be called upon to deal with the results and actions of someone you care about. So make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily at this time. If you got a court case coming up and you get this justice card, it's likely to be to be resolved in your favor. So for the outcome, devil and justice. The devil card, there's some type of addictions, devil energy uh, that's going on for you at this time. It could be you or your person. Could be this emperor. It could be this past person. Maybe they're the same. The same person. Maybe it's you, Cancer. Some type of addictions. That could be greed, envy, uh, materialism, upset, obsession, some type of sexual lust. Um, these addictions. They're bringing some type of truth and clarity. It could also be making you feel that you have the right or someone thinks that, that they, have, they have the right to have these addictions. Someone thinks that um, it's okay with this justice card. These addictions are okay. But in actuality, uh, it's making the situation or yourself out of control. So, um, someone thinks it's okay. These addictions are okay. Uh, it hasn't really um, surfaced as a problem to someone. Not yet. But with justice, usually it brings clarity. So, something's going to come out about um, what's going on with these addictions. Maybe... Uh, you, Cancer, you'll find out that your person has a lot of addictions. And it's going to bring a lot of truth to certain situations. And you'll reali you realize why things were happening the way that they were. So, that's the outcome. Justice and Devil. So, your reading is basically... There's a lot of love there. We got two lovers cards. Well, we got... Yeah, we got this Two of Cups, that's a lot of love. And then we got this, um, the Empress. Uh, that's a deep love right there. Someone has deep love um, for you, Cancer. And, um, but someone wants some time alone. Someone wants some time alone. Uh, uh, someone's having a hard time dealing with this Emperor. Because it just, just doesn't show any emotions, but uh, you love this person. They love you. But you would never know it, though. Because they don't express themselves. And then they probably got some, some addictions that's causing problems in this connection. But it brings about 
truth, you probably found out why they're like they are. Because they, maybe they drink a lot. And they shut down. They shut down in a real big way. Because of these, these addictions. It's the only way they know how to handle certain situations. Uh, this could, like I said, this could be a past person. Or this could be someone coming towards you. Or someone that you already know. No. No.